Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this Helix M wireless stereo speakers and in this uh, video we'll be doing a review and these are actually very different uh, stereo speakers these are not running on Bluetooth uh, this is by a new company called Y Audio and uh, we have this this is the transmitter this is a USB uh, transmitter that can be connected to computers or even smartphones using USB ODG cable it also works with iPhones as Bluetooth has very limited range they're using this proprietary uh, uh, what do you say wireless system and they say that uh, this uh, a speaker can transmit high quality audio at 96 kilohertz at 24 bit which has almost twice the bandwidth as normal wireless speakers so these are the speakers itself and full disclosure these are uh, what do you say review units that were sent to me by the company for evaluation and these are sort of pre-production units and uh, these uh, uh, products are actually now listed on Indiegogo and as of now the pricing for these are around 200 US dollars uh, so they are not cheap I would say uh, but again these are not like your typical Bluetooth speakers as you can see these are two individual speakers that we have and uh, on the back actually uh, we just have two buttons one is for the power on power off and uh, this is uh, the micro USB port that will be used for charging the company actually claims that the battery should last for about 30 odd hours I simply couldn't test it uh, continuously for 30 hours but I have to say the battery lasts for a long time I was listening to them for a couple of hours daily and I had to charge them uh, once in about four to five days and uh, they are pretty small to give you an idea uh, uh, this is the iPhone 6s as you can see the iPhone 6s is, is taller uh, but again they have a little bit of heft to them uh, and uh, so again uh, I would say these are not your typical Bluetooth speakers because uh, they are two speakers that you need to carry around they claim that these are meant for audiophiles I'm not an audiophile I would say and uh, the company says that you can to get the best effect you should play flak audio and stuff uh, I have to say the audio quality is nice but again as you can see uh, the woofer is actually uh, pretty small considering the size so what I have felt in terms of the music playback is that the stereo imaging is actually very good because you can easily place the speakers uh, far away from you I would say I got the best effect uh, placing it uh, almost about three feet away from me uh, so that was the best effect and as it's wireless you can place it anywhere uh, the, so the stereo imaging was actually very good and in terms of uh, vocals the vocals are also very clear and the highs are also very sharp in fact I would say the highs are a little bit uh, too sharp to my liking but when we talk about the bass uh, the bass is not that heavy so if you are a person who likes heavy bass you would not like it again they claim that these are for audio files so they give you sort of a neutral sound signature and I would say I enjoyed the uh, music that had a lot of vocals for example Indian music uh, classical music but if you are a person uh, into something like hip-hop and stuff then uh, these might not be for you because of the uh, bass is a little bit lacking and the company claims in terms of wireless range it's about 75 feet uh, I would say the wireless range is uh, pretty good even when I had uh, my phone in the other part of the room it worked let me actually now show you this is a Android phone that I have and you can uh, plug this in using a simple USB ODG cable so you just plug it into your Android phone uh, it also works with the uh, iPhones and as you can see you get this uh, red uh, what do you say uh, that means it's active and now you have to just power on the speakers and the good thing is that let me actually show you when you power it on this is the power button just hold it for two seconds Hello. I am on the left so it actually uh, tells you which speaker is on the left and which one is on the right Hello. I am on the right so as you can see uh, they are paid and now let me actually uh, try to uh, play back a uh, little bit of music to give you an idea and and they can go loud as you can see the further away you keep the better stereo imaging you get let me play another track uh, so for a portable speaker I would say uh, it offers very good audio quality but again uh, you have to carry two speakers and this is a product I feel for uh, people who really appreciate true stereo music and whenever you adjust the volume on one speaker it's 
automatically synchronized to the other speaker and when you switch it off it also gives you goodbye says goodbye uh, but one thing that i have noticed is that we don't have any other uh, led notifications or anything on the speaker uh, so what is the status of the battery uh, you just don't know yes when the battery starts to get low you actually start getting the uh, blue light over here when the battery is low so that is the only indication uh, about it and charging as i mentioned takes approximately about five hours uh, actually i don't have any other uh, portable speakers around this 200 dollar price mark uh, but the audio quality is good but as i told you the bass is a little bit lacking i actually also own uh, this the audio engine 2 uh, these are, uh, are actually desktop speakers and these also cost about 200 dollars and i would say for 200 dollars these sound a little bit better than these but again these are not portable speakers these are wired speakers so i would say uh, for what it offers uh, a true stereo experience and wireless speakers uh, I would say it's a good product. Now coming to the conclusion, uh, these are selling as of now for about $200 and uh, I feel uh, for that price you have to be a very serious listener who actually appreciates proper stereo imaging. So if you are a that kind of a person sort of audio file uh, guy then you might like the speakers but if you are a person who likes heavy bass and stuff then you might not like these speakers i'll also have the link for their indiegogo campaign in the show notes so you can check that out i hope you found this uh, video helpful uh, thanks for watching this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video